Hi guys, it's Matt here for the Forex Coach. It's Monday the 13th of November, just gone 8 a.m. And we're just in one trade at the moment, which I messaged out earlier this morning. So um, my last update on Friday, I was just updating this platform. Um, I'm just now in the process of moving some funds over to it from another account. So this is gonna be one of my main sort of manual trading platforms that I'm using now. It's an MT4 um, Admiral Markets uh, account. So um, I've just sort of got to be familiar with it over the last few weeks and uh, quite liking you know, what you can do with the charts and, and the setup and stuff like that. So what I've got here is I've got the markets across the top here with my five minutes charts and they are out and out day trading um, manual trades that I'll be taking from these charts. So what I've got is a couple of indicators set up and that will alert me when there's a potential buy or sell based on my criteria that I've set. And then once I've got that alert, then I can look at it, do the analysis and decide whether it's a trade that I'm going to take. The rest of the charts here, what I've got here is a combination of different time frame charts, different markets, a couple of indices, oil down here. And the idea of that is to give me a bit of a range of markets that I can trade and a range of different setups. Now what I've actually got is a EA, an expert advisor, it's um, a basic version of what I've been developing, but it's ideal for this because what it can do is it can alert me and actually take a trade for me for me to then look at it and um, actually analyze it further. So what that means is that it can take a trade, so for example, the Euro dollar, it took the trade at one o'clock this morning, and then what I do is as soon as I'm available to look at the chart, so in this case, you know, 6, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., I can look at it and say, hold on, is that a trade that I like the look of? And if it is, then I will um, leave it running and adjust the target price and stop loss as I did in this case. And if it isn't, then I'll just cut the trade and drop the trade. So the other one it took this morning was a FTSE 100 long, um, which I which I cut at break even or just short, just slightly under break even because I wasn't wasn't happy with the trade. So <clears throat> um, it's going to allow me to get entries that I was missing um, sort of on the day trading side of things and the manual trading alerts. So entries that might occur at four in the morning, but even five in the morning while I wasn't looking at the charts, it's gonna allow me to get those entries and then, yeah, as I say, I just do make a decision as to whether the um, I'm gonna hold the trade or whether I'm just gonna drop it. So there's gonna be a combination of sort of uh, expert advisor, automation and manual, and the man, ma, you know, majority manual trading on this, this account. And this is what I'm gonna be um, sending out to the day trading signal members, or sorry, the ch the signal members, so day and swing trading. Um, so these trades down here, they could be, there's a few swing trades down here, so they we could be in any of these trades for anything from a day. These ones are all gonna be, you know, in and out within a day, theoretically. These ones could be anything from a day to, you know, a week, potentially, and what you'll do is you'll get the full analysis as to why we took the trade. So you'll get the trade posted out to you by the Telegram app, and then you'll then be able to watch the video later on that day or in your own convenience and go, oh, okay, that's, that's why we took that trade. And that's why we got out there, and that's the reasoning behind it. Um, so we're gonna have more entries, but hopefully more accurate. Now, the criteria for this, um, this EA to get us in in the first place is is quite stringent. Now what I've done is I've adjusted the risk to the reward. So um, all of these are one to 1.5 or one to two. There'll be the odd one that's one to one, um, but I usually there'll be sort of positive uh, reward to risk. And um, Position sizing is going to be down to you. You'll see the position sizing that I'm taking. You can obviously, you know, based on the account that you're seeing that I've got, you can make your own decision as to how you want to position size yourself. And um, my positions are going to be in lots down here. And um, you can then follow it that way, and hopefully you can learn and and build um, sort of a, a method of trading, and you can get an idea of how I'm trading and stuff like that. So the trade this morning. 
euro dollar. We're short euro dollar. Now, um, <clears throat> with regards to this one, um, I was slightly slow getting this one out this morning because um, I was out and about all day yesterday. So um, this morning I wasn't up too bright and early, but um, really I could have got you in at the entry here, but I think I actually got you in about here. So the trade was already up about, um, I think about eight pips at the exact point that I sent it out. So, um, and I don't think there was any bounce after that. So, um, but going forward, if you did miss this one, going forward, I'll you know I'll get them out as soon as physically possible for me to um, to get them out to you. Um, but yeah, so the idea, the reasoning behind it, which is you know the important thing anyway, because we're all here to learn. So going out to the monthly charts, we've had this, we've had this really good run up with um, with euro dollar. On the monthly now we've actually got a trend line <coughs> which I'm going to put in here across these highs here now this trend line I have talked about it in previous videos I mean it's not perfect because the perfect touch just cuts off that one slightly but you know I'm just gonna sort of take a mean average and um, so we've got this trend line up here and we've got this these moving averages but we're now reacting off this this uh is that 50 50 period moving average here so we have just come to our lower ish price envelope so and but we haven't had the cmo sell off yet so it's a hard one to judge because in a way i definitely want to see us getting up up to this trend line and testing it at some point now I think looking at that, that is too much for it to do in this run. I cannot see in what's left in here in this day and this overbought. I mean, it's done it here to be fair. It's been overbought. You know, we could have been saying back here actually, you know, it's a similar sort of pattern. We could have been saying here it's overbought and then it's just kept going. So that's just changed my outlook slightly on that to be fair because based on this one this time frame here it stayed you know over for quite some time and we had this histogram just growing and growing and growing and sort of diverging and pushing up higher so based on that and these sort of moves this move actually isn't isn't too big but that was you know way back in 2002 um, moves since then you know on the monthly chart we've had this sort of move, you know, these sort of size moves here. So based on those ones, there's still potential that it could go a bit higher. So, okay, so mm, consensus there is I don't know. Um, I've kind of <laughs> changed my mind there. You know, it could, it could still keep, keep going. So we'll have to wait and see and just see how it plays out, but you know, at the moment it's indecisive on the weekly see what I don't like or it's not that I don't like it but often when you see the CMO moving sort of faster than the price action is it kind of an indication that sometimes what you can get is the CMO come back down to the sort of minus 100 you can get this histogram kind of get to zero ish and then it kind of has a second second push up Bearing in mind that these moving averages are going to be scooping up, you know, in the next few weeks we could get these moving averages scooping up to here. Now we've got a big level here of support and resistance above these highs here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's more of a zone here, you know, all the way from where we are now, all the way down to sort of these these highs here, down to what fourteen four nine seven. That would bring us to around here, so we could see this come down and get these moving averages scooping up potentially get a touch on them and um, and then we could have this second run higher up to this trend line so that could happen and I'm just kind of just planning out here what what the possibilities are because this helps when you're um, when you're day trading and swing trading and everything really you can use it for everything so with regards to today's trade I'm just going to zoom in slightly because 
the daily time frame. The daily time frame is, for, for me, I want to see this histogram go positive. So I want to see it actually push up. So my um, bias is slightly to the long side, really, on this euro. Now, what I'm seeing today on the smaller time frames, it's meant that I've just changed my target price based on this chart. So my target price is this lower price envelope on this short. So just about here, down here. And if you then go to the four hour chart, okay, I'm happy that the histogram's gone positive. I'm happy that my CMO's gone to overbought. I'm happy that this can now break away and sell off slightly down to here. We've also had a test of the 100 period moving average just here. And, um, and this arrow here is just saying that my um, CMO has hit the overbought level on the, on the four hour chart there. So for me, I think that we might get a reaction from this moving average to 50 period is crossing, 21 period is crossing the 50 period. If we get down to here, then I would take half this trade off. So I'd have a partial take profit here. Now what you can do is you can set an entry order to buy. So I'm 0.4 of a lot short, I could set an entry order, if I weren't able to watch it, to buy 0.2 of a lot here. Um, or also, and the nice thing about my uh, expert visor here, is that I can actually set it to take part profit down here. So um, I can set it so it'll close half the position or however much of the position I want down here at this point. Which if I weren't monitoring or weren't watching the trade then I'd do that. But as far as the setup goes, so on the four hour chart, we're looking like we could go fall over. So I'm happy from that perspective, but the entry that was taken from the one hour chart is, um, is justified. So on the one hour chart, just looking at the analysis here, and it's not the ideal sort of setup with regards to this CMO here because it's kind of flat lined and gone a bit um, flattish here. However, the histogram has gone from positive and started coming off and then it's pushed back up again and then it started to roll back over here. So we're just seeing this negativity coming back into the histogram. And we had our entry criteria met when the MACD crossover occurred. And that was about 1 a.m. So that would have come about on this candle here, I believe. Yeah. On this candle here. So, um, as far as the one hour charts goes, I'm happy with that. Happy with the trade. Um, it, looking at this and looking at how far it could go, the target makes sense at the moment. Risk to reward is okay. I just talked to you about the stop. So the reason why I put the um, target price there is because I've got this lower price envelope. The reason why I put the stop where it was, originally, normally on this sort of trade, I would put the stop on um, just above the four hour chart, which was just above this candle here. However, I saw this 21 period moving average coming down on the daily chart and I thought that I'd rather have the stop just above that. So the stop's just above the, the, there's the four hour chart there, so originally I would have put the stop above here. But as I've seen the on the daily chart, we've just got this, um, this 21 period moving average which comes in, you know, around here somewhere. I've just put the stop loss just slightly above that. Okay, so um, we're 14 minutes in already, but that's a good bit of analysis done there and it uh, gives you an idea of why we've taken this trade. So um, I hope that helps. Hi guys, it's Matt here, just back. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a small long, um, <clears throat> just playing a bounce on pound yen. So I'll just put the buy in there and then I'll talk you through the reasons why. So we're on the five minute chart. Okay, so stop loss is just going to go below the low here. Just 
just check that. Yeah, so just about there will be fine. So that's thirty-nine pounds. About forty quid being risk, risked on that. And then the target price, if we just look on the four hour chart, target price on this is just gonna be a bounce back up to around around this level. So we've got previous support around here as well. But it's a counter trend trade, um, so it's pretty risky. And you know, ideally we wanna be trading with the trend. The trend is, you know, short term is down at the moment but it's had a really good move down and on the one hour chart uh, on the one hour chart you can see here we've just got a signal to say that it's oversold now on the one hour chart you can see here it's come down it's oversold and I'm just looking for it to have a uh, bounce back up to this sort of level here it hasn't come up and tested this upper price envelope since since this move down here so this initial move one this move two hasn't bounced back up to test that on the 30 minute chart again in the realms of being oversold for a while we've had this second sort of wave down here with regards to the um histogram here and <coughs> we've just put in this this candle here now if we go to the 15 minute chart we can see here that it's just come up and it's just had two closes and we've got this hammer style candle here and um, we've just closed you know this second green candle here so that's the plan with this trade it's just a counter trend trade for a bounce back up to um, previous sort of support and resistance level and ties in with some sort of price envelopes on some other time frame charts. So it could be over very quickly or it could be you know a profitable trade very quickly. So wait and see. Okay I've just posted this trade out to the um the members I've actually held off on this um, pound gem for posting it out to the uh, signal service members purely because as I entered here it just started to come off so I just went down to the one minute chart and um, I could see here a potential just come down and then I waited for it to just push back up so I've just now sent it out and um, it's pretty much bang on the entry price now and um, that I entered that anyway and um, I sent it out about a minute ago so that's ideal timing for anyone who's a member to look to get in on this trade if they wish. Um, I've clearly put it as a counter trend trade so people can choose to sit out of counter trend trades if they wish because obviously they're you know, a slightly higher risk, a slightly more aggressive form of trading. Um, but as it stands at the moment as far as price action goes it's all doing okay to what, what I'm looking for. Um, it's still got a little bit of work to do. We really need this next 15 minutes. Um, so when we get to half 10, half past 10, we need this, ideally, this um, to have closed. It doesn't have to, but it would. if we're looking for a faster move, we want it to have closed outside this price envelope um, to look to push this, push this up higher. Okay, just back and <coughs> looking at this pound yen trade. <coughs> Um, it's s struggling a little bit to be honest um, so the price action that I would have liked to have seen would have shown this pushing up a bit stronger than what it has and the risk is that from here this could roll back over and we could get this secondary move down which would um, kind of create maybe some sort of divergence or something like that on the 30 minute chart and it's always risky on these um, counter trend type bounce type trades. So on the four hour chart, it's very strong negative you know, momentum, a big strong bar here, strong close. I mean, looking for this blip back up, this boost back up, but the price action hasn't really been um, as strong as what I'd like to see. Now, we could get back up to this price envelope here and then it roll back over. But I think on the five minute chart, potentially, this could be as far as what it's going to go. So I need to make a decision now what to do. And <clears throat> one thing I could do is move the stop up to under this price envelope here. 
and that would reduce the risk but there's still obviously the chance of it getting stopped out but I think I'd do that initially now what I need to do next is decide whether I'm going to just cut this trade so we've still got a bit of potential here so I think for now I'm just going to sit on it and just see what happens in the next sort of five minutes with the next couple of candles we've moved the stop up slightly reduce risk we've still got a bit of room on a 30 minute chart and a 15 minute chart for it to come back down if it then wants to push higher and um, but as i say on the five minute chart this could be the move now where it now rolls back over for um for another run another run down so we see how this um this reacts now because we're sitting above the 21 period moving average we may just want to come down test the 21 period and then and then push up so it's just a matter of seeing and monitoring this trade as far as the euro trade's gone, it's on a higher time frame, so we can sit back on that. Um, sit back on that for a minute. If we just look at the euro dollar, so on the one hour chart, we've come back up to test this price envelope. We need to see a reaction now. This could continue this move down. If it doesn't, and this sort of starts to turn back up, then again, this can be a continuation of this trend. Um, this trend higher. So we need to watch this one. But on the four hour chart, it still looks okay for a, for a bit of a move down. So it's a difficult one because you always find this on different charts that you know you're getting conflict and you're getting indications that the um, it's going to go one way or the other. But I guess that's what makes the market and makes people um, go long and people go short. So it's just a matter of sitting and monitoring these trades at the moment and uh, seeing how they play out over the next um, couple of hours. Okay, now back, and I'm going to cut this trade, I think, on the pound-yen, based on the price action that I'm seeing there. As I say, the risk is that this could now ro roll back over. So it's going to be a cut trade based on, you know, the five-minute chart that I was trading that off. Hi guys, it's Matt back here and we're just having a look at Euro Dollar. We've already got this short in um, which went and then it's it's come back up. But I think there's the opportunity to get an extra add into this. Um, so I'm gonna take a another trade on this <coughs> and I'm gonna sell. We're already in part of a position, so I'm gonna um, short slightly smaller, so 0.3 of a lot here. And I'm going to put a stop in just above. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out shortly and have a look at this because I want the stop on this ideally above the four hour price envelope and possibly the 100 period moving average. So let's just go back in on that. Stop wants to be a bit higher on this. Let's just actually wants to be just above the entry to the first order so going back into the five minute chart we just take it up to this high here okay so short entry just uh, stop order just up there for, for a short period of time then I will trail this one down depending on obviously what um, what price action we then get and then target for this one will be a retest of these lows down here okay so we're already in the the short which is based on the higher time frame chart We've had a bit of a move down and then a push back up on the five minute chart. We've got my signal to say um, it's oversold and um, I'll just go now go through the analysis for that trade. So the analysis on this um, short trade is on the four hour chart. We're starting to um, see this continuation of this downtrend. We've got lower highs and lower lows here so we're in this downtrend on this four hour chart and um, we've pushed back up on our cmo here we're in the realms of overbought we've started to roll back over so price action looks good for some potential move move lower and on the hourly chart um 
we've we have come down now not a lot's happened here um i don't like the way this has flattened out i think i mentioned earlier so in the next hour we really need to see this reacting and coming down um, if it doesn't then potentially I might have to pull this trade um, so we need to go in because it could happen we can't sit and wait because we miss our reward to risk and then we've got our second exit or our first exit down there this adding exit will be um, will be just a retest of these lows so it's based on the five minute chart so um, we hold out and see what happens with this one Just back and just looking at this pound gem which we um, got out of sort of down here somewhere um, because there was that risk for it to roll back over now it has actually pushed back up and um, it's pushed back up and it's sort of doing this bounce that I was looking for and um, it's nearly got up to this price envelope where I would have you know at least taken half of the trade off there and um, so Again, with this one, what could happen now is we could see on this five minute chart this sort of top out around here and then do the secondary roll back over. So I wouldn't get in short up here purely because um, on the one hour chart we are sort of oversold. Um, but if we do roll back down, and bearing in mind that we still haven't sort of tagged this upper price envelope, if we do roll back down over the course of the next hour, then potentially there might be opportunity to get another long, another long trade back in for the uh, the bounce back up on this. So um, yeah, so it was a difficult one. I was sort of I could have held out a bit longer and um, and left it, which in hindsight maybe I should have done and just tried to stop up to to the low of this um, this candle. Um, it's a slightly premature, possibly on the exit of that one, um, but. This is what happened sometimes. The risk was always there, it being a sort of counter trend trade. After this strong move down on this four hour candle, you know, there's always the opportunity, like this bar here, where it can just keep going. So you do have to be careful and you have to kind of use your own judgment. Okay, just back, and this um, Euro is pushing up. So I don't want to get caught out if it just wants to push up. To this price envelope here so I'm just going to um, increase this stop slightly uh, up to the, that level there so 116.645 okay just back and just been stopped out on the euro dollar adding trade um, I put in an extra entry in here, just playing the um, pattern and the move down to the short side. However, it's just held up. It's kept kept pushing higher. Um, we moved the stop just above this price envelope here, which it's gone up and hit. So really, it comes down to the close of this next um, four-hour bar. Um, so once we've seen the close of this next four hour bar, we're going to see the picture now. It's looking like this could be um, a break, a breakout, and a break up higher here, based on this price action that I'm seeing at the moment. Because this one hour chart now is looking quite strong to the upside. So I need to make a decision what I'm going to do about this trade um, that's open, which was based on the one hour chart and went into profit this morning. But since then, it's just um, moving higher so next hour or so is going to um, be key to this trade is to see whether it's going to um, come back off and roll over or whether it's going to um, continue to push higher because on the daily charts it has got the possibility that this could now push up and we could get this sort of move up and this positive movement of this um, histogram so um, that's that trade for now. Um, pound gens held up fairly well now um, from when we were looking at it, but still think that this is a strong move down. So this could just be some um, some filling of this area here, and we could see you know potentially a touch of this upper price um, price envelope here 
may combine with the 21 period moving average if we did get that then it would be a potential short to see some more downside on that hi guys Matt here again and just following up with regards to um, this video here and this euro trade is what we've got left on for today uh, it's now underwater um, and the four hour bars closed quite strongly and quite positively um, so we've got, got got a bit of conflict here um, looking at the hour chart again we've got a strong push up and that could push push higher but then when you go to the 15 minute chart we're now getting to the bought realms of sort of being overbought so potentially we could see the rollover there um, so I'm going to make a decision in the next hour or so what to do with this trade, whether to hold it or whether to um, exit the trade based on what I see. So, um, so we've had a couple of little losses today on the account. So we've got £33 stop out on the euro. Um, the pound long um, closed it at an eight. Um, eight pound loss and then that was just a cut trade on the um, on the FTSE there which was definitely the right decision because that did sell off but the yens actually behaved in a way like I expected um, so we had this push up we got out around about here it did end up going up we said it could c come back down now what I was looking for was this CMA to come down to this minus 100 level if it did, then potentially that would have been a buy. As you can see, it's kind of working its way up on the one hour chart. And I'd be looking for a bounce up to get to this four hour price envelope and um, and then, you know, an exit there. If we do get up here today and um, we do, that does tie in with a five minute sort of overbought signal, then that would be a potential short. And um, But we'll have to wait and see how that one plays out. So say at the moment we're just sitting on this uh, this euro short, but the pattern there's so much conflict on this pattern now. The daily chart looks like it what it wants to go higher. Uh, sorry, let's just get back to the euro. So on the daily chart it looks like it wants to go higher. The one hour chart looks like it wants to go higher. The four hour chart is the only one that's kind of in the direction that I'm looking at. So. Um, and I think based on the um, based on the strength of that candle, I'm not sure if I can justify it here. So I'll keep my eye on it and potentially look to get a better exit. But I will keep everyone posted. Okay, just back and on this um, euro dollar short I think based on the four hour chart the fact that it did close outside this price envelope and it's broken through and closed just on or above the 100 period moving average and um, I think based on that and bearing in mind the chart the trade was taken from the one hour chart um, right here somewhere I think that I'm going to cut this trade so I'm pulling the plug on the trade and I'm now um, flat no open position to the day um, it's been a losing day so far anyway um, a few small losses so not a great deal but um, yeah I think I've just got to make the decision and just go by the price action here yes it could come back off and this four hour this four hour um, time frame could sort of come through but I think for now I've just got to go by what I'm seeing and um, it could push higher and what I don't like is the pattern on the daily chart you know we've broke through this 21 period moving average several times and closed above now and um, we've got this trend line sort of across the tops here and it could want to go up and hit that another time and then potentially break that and then what I'm seeing on the weekly chart potentially this sort of flattening out pattern here of the CMO and this could turn back up for, a, for another run up so for me it was just a short it was worth a try this morning it made sense at the time um with the entry and we had you know this sort of price action where it's coming down nicely but it's just turned back up and we just never got the reaction off off this um price envelope and then when you go to the four hour you know